Hey guys, welcome to the info channels. I am Ranga from closecourier.com. Today in this video, you will go through the basic security guard training. This training is designed to pass the security guard exam for the license and it also help you to pass the interview because you will learn a lot of skills and the basic knowledge of the security guard taxes uh, from this training. So now let's jump on it. A fire cannot exist unless the following four elements are present. Fuel, heat, oxygen. Okay, these are the element of fire. If there is no fuel, there is heat and oxygen, fire cannot take place. But there is fuel and heat, no oxygen, also fire not taken place. The fire is taken place by chemical chain reaction between the three elements, fuel, heat, and oxygen. Categories of the fire. How many types of fire are there? Class A fire, ordinary fire, or combustible fire. Fire on the papers, wood, cloth, and class B fire, flammable liquid, petrol, diesel, and the other type of liquid. Class C fire, flammable gases, and the fire on the gas is class C fire. Class D fire, combustible metals, fire on the metal is called class D fire. Class E fire, electric fire. Okay, there are the five categories of the fire, class A, class B, class C, class D, and class E. There are four types of extinguisher. Okay, what are the extinguishing agent? Waters. Carbon dioxide, CO2 extinguisher, dry powder, and foam type. Okay, nowadays there are the water, carbon dioxide, dry powder, and foam type of fire extinguisher are available. And some fire extinguisher are ABC. They contain the materials that can be used for any type of fire. Number four, fire alert system can be divided into four categories. Local central station, remote system, periphery. Alarm initiating device can be manual pull system and automatic detection. Okay, there are the two type of initiating devices. One is manual pull, the security guard or the person who uh, see the any unusual activities, they can pull the string and the alarm will go off. Automatic detection means the sensor will detect the fire, uh, or the intrusion so it will send the message to the control panel and control panel will initiate the alarms there are four types of fire detector heat detector smoke detector flame detector water flow detector okay there are the four types of fire detector heat if there is a heat the fire alarm will go off if there is smoke detected by the sensor the fire alarm will go off Flame detector means if there is a flame of the fire, so alarm will go off. And water flow detector, every company, they install the fire suppression system. It is called the sprinkle system. And the water come out from the sprinkle, the sensor will detect the water flow. So people can know there is a fire. Because of the fire, the sprinkle will start to spread the water. Sprinkle system are wet pipe, dry pipe, reaction, and deluge. Okay, there are the four type of sprinkle system existed in the world: wet pipe, dry pipe, reaction, and deluge. What is the security guard responsibility in case of fire? If there is a fire, what is your duty? What is your responsibility? In case of fire, the security guard responsibility is to safe evacuate of the people from the building. If there is a fire, the security guard responsibility is securely evacuate the people from the building. Professionalism. A professional person who does the best job when he feels worse. Any circumstances of professional security guard, he does best job and it is also one part of the professionalism. What does the guard uniform sense? The uniform is most visible elements of the security guard. It is the visible elements 
द पीपुल रिकोनाइज द सिक्यूरिटी गार्ड फ्रॉम द यूनिफॉर्म सिक्यूरिटी गार्ड स्टैंडर्ड कैन डिवाइडेड इन टू थ्री कैटेगोरीज ओके वट मेक्स द सिक्यूरिटी गार्ड स्टैंडर्ड क्लोदिंग ग्रूमिंग एंड इक्विपमेंट्स ओके यू हैव टू मेन्टेन योर क्लोथ वेरी प्रोपरली ग्रूमिंग इज मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट एंड हाउ यू यूजिंग द इक्विपमेंट्स दिस थ्री थिंग्स मेक यू स्टैंडर्ड वट इज एथिक नोइंग द डिफरेंस बिटवीन गुड एंड बैड राइट एंड रॉन्ग ऑर्गेनाइजिंग मोरल ड्यूटी एंड ऑब्लिकेशन इट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ द एथिक्स रीजन फॉर सिक्योरिटी गार्ड हैविंग द एथिक्स वाई इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर द सिक्योरिटी गार्ड टू हैव एथिक एलिमिनेट अनफिट अनवर्दी पब्लिक फेवर और द इमेज गाइडिंग टू प्रोपर कंडक्ट प्रोटेक्ट इंसुलेट सिक्योरिटी गार्ड ओके दिस आर द रीजन अ सिक्योरिटी गार्ड नीड टू हैव द एथिक नंबर फोर्टीन एथिकल कंसिडरेशन व्हाट इज कंसिडर फॉर एथिक्स ओके यार आर सम इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट्स नंबर वन योर डिसीजन मे बी स्क्रूटिनाइज बाय द कोर्ट यू मस्ट बी कंफर्टेबल विथ योर डिसीजन इन योर ओन माइंड ऑलवेज इवेल्युएट केयरफुली योर डिसीजन मे बी स्क्रूटिनाइज बाय योर फियर्स इन सम सिचुएसन योर ऑप्शन इज वेरी लिमिटेड नंबर फिफ्टीन बिल्डिंग इवेक्युएसन यू शुड वॉट यू शुड डू वेन देयर इज अ बिल्डिंग इवेक्युएसन रिक्वायर बी प्रिपेयर्स यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर बिफोर स्टार्ट बिल्डिंग इवेक्युएसन असाइन रोल यू मस्ट रिमेम्बर वॉट असाइन रोल यू हैव कंट्रोल इवेक्युएसन You should be a leader of the evacuation. You should be control all the people where they should go and how they go. Head count after building evacuation, you should head count or you should count the people to make sure nobody is missing uh, or nobody are left inside the building. An important observation in the case of fire: the extent of the fire, the location and direction of the fire. the color of the smoke color of the flame are there discarded container nearby the time of day the weather and man made barrier okay these are the things you have to observe if there is a fire the extent of the fire is how fast the fire is extending the location and direction of fire which direction the fire is moving the color of the smoke and color of the flame different type of materials burning gives the different type of smoke and flame you should know what type of material are burning and what colors of the flame and smoke are there are there discarded container nearby the discarded container may contains fuel for the fire so you should make sure that and what is the time in the day time the fire can go rapidly because if there is dry season and the weather what is the weather windy weather also contribute uh, to expand the fire and if there is man made barrier uh, with if there is man made barriers uh, you have to remove the man made barriers if the police vehicles or the fire department vehicle comes man made barrier can hinder their operation uh, to access the fire scenes what is wsims or wms W workplace as hazard i information as system workplace hazard information system provide the following information for the responding to the police or fire department if there is a fire and fire departments or the police come what information you have to provide to them witnesses if there is witnesses the police can take the statements sign of forcible entry if there is any signs of forcible entry you have to show them door and window left unlocked and the people who set the fire maybe they enter from the window or door you have to inform to the police unusual orders if there was um, unusual smell is there a familiar face in the crowd inform to the police if you know the persons who can behind the cause of fire if there is a similar face you can tell to the police are there overly helpful bystander present and some people you know 
they are doing bad things and they pretend and helping to the other people helping in the fire scenes to hide their culprit if anybody is overly helpful to the bystander also you can tell to the police police can detain them or take the statements suspicious vehicle maybe the suspicious vehicle left it there after setting up the fire people rapidly leaving the scene okay if there is a fire some people rapidly leave maybe they are behind the cause of the fire they set a fire and run very quickly if you know anybody rapidly leaving the scenes also you need to inform to police purpose of what tolls okay what is the patrol's purpose the goal of the security patrol is to identification and prevention the situation that may affect your client number 20 the three purpose of the patrol protection of people protection of property and protection of information what sense you would use in the patrol sight your eye be observed check the unusual condition hearing your ear check the unusual sound and their sources including running water glass smash and malfunctioning equipment smell your nose use your nose uh, smoke gas and overheated machinery you can smell those type of things touch you can use your skin or hand air currents and temperature change test used with cautious you can use your tongue to test something but when you are using it you have to be very cautious because uh, testing without knowing anything it can danger for your health general patrol responsibility what are the general patrol responsibility make sure the area is secure from the intrusion number 2 turn off the equipment when the operation is not indicated number 3 check for the unusual condition examine for the unusual sound and investigation check running water examine unusual orders check all security process monitor storage flammable substances report and record okay these are the general responsibility of the patrols basic patrol principle just before we learn about the patrol responsibility here are the principle ensure the perimeter is secure patrol with methodicals and organized fashion check the safety and security hazards record all the activity in your notebook think about what you are doing make sure you are properly equipped remember the patrol is your routine duty okay these are the basic patrol principle type of patrols how many type of patrol are there reactive proactive control area random and direct reactive patrols there is something happens some incident happen and you go for the patrols is a reactive proactive there is nothing happen but you go for the patrol to observe any unusual activities control area you go for the patrol it is the routine patrols Uh, to dominate the area and to make sure the area is under security control random you can make the random patrol it is there there is not any fixed time any time if you think to make a patrol you can go for the patrols and direct patrol means somebody directing you to do the patrol it can be the controller can direct you or supervisor manager they can tell you go for the patrol it is a direct patrol okay there are the five type of patrols reactive proactive control area random and direct four most common method of the patrol are foot patrol bicycle vehicle and visual okay this four are the method of the patrols foot bicycle vehicle and visual example of patrols equipment what type of equipment you should take when you are on the patrols flash key access code notebook telephone number portable radio security license with these are the some equipment that are required when you are conducting the patrols what is necessary when you start your duty 
Okay, when you are starting your duty, what is necessary to do for you? Gather information. You can uh, get the information from the previous shift security officer. Check your equipment. Whether the equipment are working properly or not, it is very important to check before you start duty. Briefing. If there is any instruction from the supervisor or company management, you can get briefing from your supervisor about this. Target established. Okay, what you are going to do on your duty, you have to make one plan or so the target plan for the patrols. What time you will going for patrols? Make the plans according to how many hours you are on duty. Share information with the coworker. What information you have get from the other people or the previous shift, uh, and you should share to your coworker. Example of hazards. How many type of hazards are there? Chemical hazards, electrical, fire, flood, earthquake. Do following on the radio communication. When you are making the radio communication, what you have to do? Quick think what you are going to say before saying it. Speak clearly and carefully. Be brief and concise. Use the proper radio code and terminology. Find good transmission area. Okay, these five points are very crucial when you are communicating on the radio. Do not do on the radio communication. What you should not do when you are on the radio communication. Break into the another transmission unless in case of the emergency. You should not break the other people's conversation when they are making conversation. Okay, you have to listen their con conversation first. When they finish, then you start. Get carried away with the radio slang. You should not make the conversations without using the radio slang. Means there are some of the uh, words, specific design words, just like Alpha, Bravo, Charlie. You should use those type of words. Okay, give telephone number, location and financial information. You should not give through the radio your telephone number, location and the financial information because somebody may hear you. Use the radio for personal use. Don't use the radio for your personal use because radio are provided for the security guard to communicate about their duty and the business purpose. The time to write a record or write a report. Okay, what time you have to write or the record the report? As a time in occurring or as soon as reasonably possible. Okay. If you try to record or report after a one hour, two hour, you may be forget some of the important scene of the incident. That's why it is very important for you if there is an incident happening, if it is possible, record at that time. And immediately after the incident also, you can record because that time also you remember who can refer to the notebook, author, another security guard, court, crown counsel, defense lawyer, witnesses. Okay, these people can refer your notebook. Okay, if there is an incident or there is one case, the author can read uh, the notebook. Another security guard also can read your notebook. Court, crown counsel, defense lawyer and witnesses can read your notebook. That's why you should not write the false information in your notebook. The information should be on fact. Classification of report. How many type of report are there? Number one, administrative report. Number two, operational report. Okay, there are the two type of report, administrative report and the operational report. Administrative report includes deal with the routine function, internal memo, equipment request, holiday leave, maybe standard, may be free of memo. Okay, these are the features of the administrative report. Operational report include occurrence report. If there is an incident happen, you write the report, it is the operational. Detail of the security concern of the client. Report of the intruders. Damage to the property and security violation. The action was taken by the security guard on the investigation. Okay. When to complete a written report? What time you should write a report as directed by police 
when an event occurs that requires investigation to justify the activities if someone is arrested anytime you arrest the people okay in this situation you have to write the security report purpose of the report official record state what did you do and why suggest future action needed provide statistical record keeping at another professional to do their job okay these are the purpose of the report official record and what you did and why you did it is one type of statement also suggests future action needed what is needed in the future uh, the people they can change the policy after going through your report the narrative of the report there are three part of the report introduction body and summary we use 5w and 1 has when writing the report what are they who what where when why and how okay when we are writing the report we use the five wife and one husband these are who what where when why and how the report may be accessed by who can access your report who can read your report the investigator can read supervisor can read lawyer can read judge juries another government's official insurance company media and others okay, there are so many people they can access your report that's why your report should be based on the fact not on the assumption use evidence to we use the evidence for what determine the fact of an incident recreate event occurring before during or after the incident identify people things related to the incident okay the evidence help us to determine the fact of the incident we can identify what is the cause of the incident create the event occurring before during or after the incident okay uh, through this evidence we can guess what they did before during and after the incidents identify people we can identify the peoples and the things related to the incident okay three form of evidence verbal evidence verbal evidence is a word spoken by the witnesses in the court while under the oath or affirmation documentary evidence documentary evidence are written type or printed or drawn real evidence a physical object things or substance which has been connection to the incident being examined in the court okay, there are three type of evidence verbal evidence those are the word of the mouth documentary evidence means people they analyze and make a documentary and real evidence means some of the subject or the object they are used to occur the incident best evidence rule what is the rule of the evidence the evidence presented in the court must be the best evidence available and if possible the original evidence if testifying in the court what you, you should do be on time be prepared act professional okay these three things are very important if you are testifying in the court addressing the court when question if the lawyer if the lawyers or job asks you the question direct answer to the judge speak slowly and clearly say honor or sir avoid technical jargon and slang requesting the permission before using your note number 46 general testimony in the court guidelines know the key element of the event review all the relevant notes bring notes and evidence to the court do not answer if you don't understand the question ask for clarification if you don't know the answer say don't know sir don't argue etc talk time and think okay when you are uh, answering the question you can take the time and think always tell the truth okay these nine are the uh, very important things you have to know when you are attend for the testimony in the court space clarification public space and private space public space are government's entirety just like park uh, bus station train station private space are the company 
industry or the house type of alarm system how many type of alarm system are there intrusion alarm fire alarm trouble or distress alarm there are three type of alarms intrusion fire and distress alarm notification system okay local central station remote the alarm notification system can give locally means inside the building central station the control room can know about the incident and the remote means the people can get the information through internet type of sensor how many type of sensor are there electromechanicals pressure photoelectric motion okay there are the four type of sensor are used to protect the properties or the people electromechanicals pressure photoelectric and motion be prepared for an alarms know your flying okay while you are responding the alarms you should know who is to be notified what safety precautions are there how will the alarm be investigated is there an alarm panel are there sign of force injury are there false alarm determines okay these are the very important things before you responding the alarm access control defined access control is the controlling the movement of people vehicle materials and information into and out of the site okay this is the definition of the access control why access control is important to issue or withhold material or information to prevent qualify or deny person use of privilege and right for controlling the speed of the access to or from the defined place to control the person's material and information against unauthorized observation or removal because doing the access control we can meet these points access control is controlling the the movement of people movement of vehicle movement of property and goods materials access to the information and data through the use of physical system personal security guard or a combination of the both okay we protect the information through the physical system through camera door lock window and the personal security guard security personnel can give the guarding services to the information and some places use both means there are the physical system also and the security personnel also responsible to protect the data or the information determining to identify of how can you identify the person personal recognition you may know personally to him or her identification card means they provide the card and you can go through the card you know their names their company etc sorting bag or package when you are sorting the bag or package approach the individual in friendly non threatening behavior greet the individual and identify him or her advise the individual that you would like to source the content of the package discreetly source the package thank the individual for their cooperation okay here are the five things you have to do when you are sourcing someone bag or package explosive device define an explosive device is that is used intended for use or you believe is being used as part of the threat or actual attempt to cause an explosion okay, this is the explosive device definition upon receiving the bomb threat what you have to do gather as much as information as soon as possible ascertain the threat level notify your supervisor if required call the police bomb threat a high percentage of bomb threat are false but all must be taken seriously if there is a bomb threat any type of bomb threat and any method of threat we should take seriously receiving the bomb threat question to be asked okay what type of questions you should ask when you are receiving a bomb threat where is the bomb now where did you place it what type of bomb it is what does it like when is the bomb going to explode what is the explosive where did you place it okay this type of question you have to ask if someone call you and give the bomb threat bomb source method greet concentric circle lines and top to bottom okay, there are four type of 
bomb salts method, grid, concentric salts, lines, and bottom drop. Upon receiving the bomb threaten, tons of the following things. What things you should not use when you get the bomb threat? Radio, cell phone, pager. Because these three devices, they operate through the radio signal. And some of the explosive devices also explode cause of the radio signal. That's why we have to restrict it to use the radio, cell phone, and the pagers. Report upon the bomb threaten. Okay, how should you report to the supervisor or if you, if you cannot use your mobile phone? Runner, you can send the runner to inform the supervisor about the bomb threat. Whistle, you can use the whistle also. Landline telephone phone. You can use the landline phone to inform or report about the bomb threat. On locating explosive devices, when you are locating or providing guarding services to the explosive device area, what you should do? Do not toss it. Clear immediate area for at least 100 meters. Notify your supervisor immediately by telephone. Call the police. Okay, these are the things you have to do. If you are located where the explosive device is, your duty in the crowd control and labor dispute are protect people from the injury and assault, protect property from damage and theft, control access to the site, stand watch and take notes, act in professional manner at all time. Okay, these are the things you have to do when you are controlling the crowd police responsibility what are the responsibility of police preserve the peace investigate any criminal offense enforce any law that is being broken remain impartial okay, these are the responsibility of the police officer crowd types casual and friendly cohesive and expressive aggressive and unruly Okay, there are three types of crowds, casual and friendly, cohesive and expressive, aggressive and unruly. Cause of the misconduct. Why people misconduct? Peer pressure. The friend can pressure them to do um, the activities that are unlawful or misconduct. Invisibility or opportunity. If there is something and they didn't find any people watching them, also they can grab that opportunity to for misconduct. Rationalization. Rationalization means they plan and do intentionally they, they are doing frustration with the criminal justice system. Okay, these are the reasons why person misconduct. Impartiality can be affected by Discrimination, prejudice, stereotyping. Okay, here are the four points that affect the impartiality. Discrimination, prejudice, stereotyping and attitude. Most important is your attitude. What is the stereotype? An internalized image or belief about the people or group which is formed over the time and which may be based on the faculty or incomplete information this may cause us to behave inappropriately. Okay, stereotype is uh, people they believe one group and they discriminate to the another group. It means they help the persons who are from their group, uh, they, they are had the person they are not from their group. It can base on the religious group or group of races, just like that. Stereotype problems. What are the problem of stereotype? The person is stereotype, so he makes the poor decision. He does not base on the fact. He tries to save the persons from his group. He is not fair. Safety consideration. Okay, they can involve with any activity that harm the people's life. Display of the prejudice may leave criticisms. Okay, if the stereotype person they are criticized by the communities. Weak image. In the society, if the people, they believe in one group, they don't have a good image in the public. Loss of source of information. Okay. 
Stereotype people, they do not provide the information to others, they are rather than a group. So this is the problem of a stereotype. How to fight the stereotype? Number one, treat individual with the respect that they deserve. Be professional and maintain the public respect. Perform a critical analysis of previously held stereotype. Remain open-minded. Pursue the quality contact. Okay, this type of attitude and activities help you to fight against the stereotype. Avoid dealing with the public. When you are dealing with the public, you should not do high pressure reaction. Being argumentative. Use humor to light the situation. Okay, you should not do these three things when you are dealing with the public. 75. Public relation. Speak fluently. Be professional. Behave respectfully. Being solution oriented. Be considerate. Okay, this point help you to make good public relation. Two types of language. Okay, how many types of language are there? Passive language means this language is not threat to the other people. Aggressive language means people use the language that can threat the other persons. Provide customer service with. When you are providing customer service, you should do with a smile and introduction or greeting. Identify yourself, your full attention. Okay. When you are providing the customer service, smile first, introduce yourself, identify yourself, and pay the full attention to them. Security guard protect people, property, and information. That is very simple. Everybody know it. There are two major practices of security guard, public and private. Okay, public security are the police, military, or other law enforcement agency. But the private are the private security guard or the private security company. Duty of the public security. Prevent crime. Detect crime. Apprehend offender. Enforce law where appropriate. Okay, these are the similar police responsibilities. Private security. In-house security and contract. There are also two types of security in the private security industry. In-house means a private company a industry it can hire itself the security guard uh, as the other employee but the contract means our uh, industry it contracts with the security company the private security company to supply the security uh, personnel to its organization okay uh, i think you know about it type of hazards how many type of hazards in the workplace man made hazard just like crime, sabotage, civil disturbance, bomb threat, fire, accident. And second, natural hazards. Natural hazards are flood, earthquake, fire, windstorm. If in the exam, how many types of hazards are there? Come, you should say there are the two types of hazards, man-made and natural. Security duty can be generally be categorized static and patrols. Okay, there are the two types of security duty. One is static duty. Yeah, the security guard will stay one place and the patrols means the security guard will move around the periphery uh, and there are the two types of duty one strategic and the another is patrol when to call police when you should call the police a crime is committed an emergency situation happened an assault bulgar robbery or mba you've seen a suspicious person there is the disturbance caused by the group of the people. Okay, in this situation, you can call the police. If there is crime, there is emergency, if there is robbery, vulgarity, or suspicious person are there, or some people are disturbing uh, to the other people or to the security personnel. Four primary objectives of the police in the country are preserve and protect life, presence and protect property, enforce of law, investigation police may enter upon the private property the police can enter in the private property in this condition on the invitation if anybody invite the police they can come with an warrant means the court orders uh, to uh, to arrest summons they can enter in the property a criminal offense they believe to be in progress these are three conditions the police can enter in a private property 
when you write the report for police when you should write the report for police when requested by the police to provide a copy of your written report regarding the incident when you are writing the police report know your company policy okay these are the very important things when you are writing the police report you should know about your company policy when police attend your side you should need to note down okay if the police officer come into your side you should note down the following things name and the rank of the officer number of the officer incident and file number emergency telephone numbers okay these four things you should note down on your notebook when the police officer enter your side define of the law what is law a body of rules which regulate governments and the member of society and recognize and sanction by governments and society together this is the definition of law the basic function of the law are divided into the two categories right and privilege and obligations okay, there are the two function of the law one it preserve the right and privilege and it also make the people to meet their obligations to be guilty of the crime and accused must be legal he should act as a legally and measure he should not like children outside and sense he should not be mad he should not be crazy should be in a sense okay, these three things are the element of guilty type of crimes how many type of crime are there there are three type of number one felony most serious category of crime is murder rape etc misdemeanors mid-level serious it is not uh, so serious just like theft drunkenness Number three, contravention. It is the least serious offense, uh, such as traffic ticket, public disorder, falling to the act against crime. Okay, there are the three types of crime, felony, misdemeanor, and contravention. Your responsibility, landlord-tenant disagreement. If there is a disagreement or dispute between the landlord and the tenant, number one, get clarification from the client as to responsibility regarding the landlord tenancy contract. You should know what is mentioned on the landlord and tenancy contract take detailed note about any activity that seems unusual call the police if intervention is needed your reaction in case of landlord tenant dispute if there is a dispute what should you do pass verbal and return tenant complaint to the landlord seek direction of your company policy remain neutral refrain from given advice seek direction from your company policy okay if there is a dispute between the landlord and the tenant you should be remind refrain and have to protect the property three way to arrest warrant observe the crimes and reliable witness as police or the security guard or the public they can arrest someone on the warrant observe the crime if there is a crime happening you see and you can detain the persons reliable witnesses there are the witnesses uh, and they give you the statement reliable statement also you can arrest a person there are four conditions to use our force most of the time the security guard should refrain to use the deadly force but there are some conditions if you have no other options so you can use the deadliest force to compel a woman to have sexual intercourse or to disagree by force any other person destruction or robbery crime of fire destruction or robbery and to enter at night an inhabited house or its subsidiary okay these are the conditions where you can use force thank you guys for watching the video i think you love this video because this video has contained a lot of skill uh, and the basic knowledge of the security guard if you want to be a security guard anywhere in the world so this video is very helpful if you have not subscribed my channel yet please subscribe our channel by clicking the subscribe button